My name is Jennifer Madge, and I'm the Academy Director of the Pittsburgh Music Academy. We're so glad that you stopped by the Unisound booth today in the Giant Eagle Creativity Zone at the Three Rivers Arts Festival. So you must have picked up one of the craft kits to take home to make a, either a pretend violin or a pretend piano. So I'm gonna show you how to put that together. First, I'm gonna show you the violin. So in your bag, you have a box of macaroni and cheese, a ruler, a clothespin, a pencil, and four rubber bands. Okay, first we're gonna do the violin. So you take your back box of macaroni and cheese and your ruler, and you just hold it on there. This might be good to have somebody else hold, do the holding for you. And then you take one of your rubber bands and you stretch it around just like that to hold on, to hold the two items together. And then I'm gonna slide this one up. So it's kind of near the top of my box. Grab another one and do the same thing. So now you have two rubber bands securing your ruler onto the box. That's gonna be now the body of your violin and the neck, okay? And now we can make our bow. So you take your pencil, and I like to use the um, eraser end as my guide. And then you take your clothespin. You're gonna hold those two items together. I have the clothes, tip of the clothespin kind of at the edge of the um, eraser there. Take one of your rubber bands and wrap it around until it's securely in place. You can slide that one up to the top of the clothespin and do the same thing with the other rubber band down here. Again, there you go. And now you have your bow. If you were thinking of it as a bow, we'd actually turn it upside down like this, okay? So now you have your bow and your pretend violin. All right, so then if you picked up the craft kit for making a keyboard, you have a nice long strip of poster board and some crayons. I didn't take any crayons, so I'm just gonna show you how to do the drawing. I really like to use a ruler, so I'm gonna borrow the ruler from my violin. And this is another thing you could do with a partner. One of you hold the ruler at the edge of the paper here, and then someone take your pencil, nice and sharp, and draw a straight line all the way across with your pencil there. Then move your ruler down to line it up with the line you drew and draw another line. And you're gonna keep moving all the way down your paper, your poster board, drawing lines and moving your ruler. You can freehand them also, it doesn't matter. You just need a whole row of lines all the way down. All right, once you've got that all the way down the paper, you're gonna look at the keyboard. I'm gonna show you a picture right now. And you're gonna see that there are all white keys all next to each other. And then there are some black keys in different size groups. There's a group of two and there are, is a group of three. So the black keys kind of fit in between the white. So I just made a little rectangle right there to symbolize one of the black keys. And then I'm gonna do it again. And now I have my first little group of two. Then I skip, and now I'm gonna make a group of three. One, two, three. Skip one line, and now you're gonna do a group of two. And you're gonna continue this all the way down your paper. A group of two, a group of three, a group of two, three, two, three, if you have room. And then that's what you're gonna use your crayons for, is to color in all of these um, black keys. You don't have to make them black, you can make them any color that you want. All right, and then it's gonna be important for you to know what are the names of the notes on your keyboard. So we're going to put the letters in. In music, we have a shorter alphabet than in English. You probably sing a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, et cetera, et cetera. In music, we only go to the letter G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and that's it. All right, so I finished my keyboard here, and what I want you to do now, turn it to look at yourself. 
you're gonna look for one of those sets of twos, okay? Right here in the middle, I have a set of two black keys, okay? And just to the side of that, that is gonna be your C, okay? So now that you have your C, you're gonna go through the alphabet. I like to start with C and go forwards. So next would be the letter D, and next would be the letter E. What comes next? F, G, and then remember, you only go to G, so now you start over again with A, B, C, D, E, all right? So now I've got my keyboard labeled from here up down. How am I gonna go backwards? That's right, you're gonna go backwards in the alphabet. So what letter comes before C? It's the letter B. And what letter comes before B? That's right, the letter A. And now we've finished our letters, so we have to go to the end of the music alphabet. What was that last letter? G, that's right. And you just keep going backwards until you finish coloring or labeling all of your keys. And now you have your own keyboard. You'll see some children playing the piano and the violin today at the Arts Festival. Thank you so much for watching.